Hi everyone, this is Gavin from Gavin's Gadgets. This is the Ibasso DC02 and I came across this, this is what it actually looks like. I've got many other little dongle DACs. This is Google's, this is Apple's attempt and I've also had the Hydis one as well but I've replaced it with the Ibasso. What makes this so amazing let's go check it out but this is what i think is just an incredible extension the headphone reviews that you've seen from the hd 599 the akrg k471s or the fa 7s i just use this with a usb c device phone and it gives just the right amount of power the difference in clarity is fantastic but there is a few things you do need to know about this so let's go check them out. So this is the iBasso DC02. Um, see the specs here, PCM32-2384, DSD-256, high res. Um, not much to talk about. Tells you some of the details. Uses the AKM. AK4490EQ. You can see some of the responses. It is high res. Um, there's only obviously you get the actual um, DAC itself in the box, and you do also get this. Um, so if you're using this to a um, USB C A, it does come with a nice uh, piece here, and that is quite handy. So, what can I tell you more about this? Well, sound quality. So, let's be honest about this. Uh, I bought one, and then I bought another, and then I bought another. So I have several of these. If you haven't really worked out by now that this is super, super good, then I think you need to go and reassess, you can see, that it's a very simple piece of equipment. You just simply take your headphones, whatever they might be, and they plug in here. You then take your phone, whatever that might be, and you plug your phone. In my case, let's take the Pixel 4. You plug it in like so. Um, you have an app that pops up which you install, so you iBasso UAC app. You have a couple of settings here, very simple. You have come out of that a second. Let's just you control your master volume from your phone. You go back into the app, and here you just have from zero to sixty-three steps. So you've got finite control, and now it doesn't matter what you play. So if I pick Apple Music like so. If I pr press play here, and I go up, we go here, and you have full control of the volume through those in absolute detail. So what I do think, this app is obviously working on an Android phone. Um, it's very simple. It automatically fires up when you use it as you could see it means you can use anything from YouTube to whatever else you're playing and it works instantly out of the box and that does solve a number of issues with other DACs that I have used that have this situation where you can't get the full sound quality um, because you need a third-party app and then you have issues with streaming apps this just sits in between everything so you don't have issues with streaming apps why you use the volume control? Um, oh, one thing I want to show you is, which is also quite a nice touch, let's just unlock that again, is when this fires up and you come out and you pull down, you have here the volume controls or you can just tap and go in. Very slick, very, very slick. So what, what you have here is, um, just a very very good DAC 
that's one of the highest quality DAX, it's got incredible detail resolution, has the most amount of power possible. It works with everything I've tried it. I've tried it in my Chromebook, I've tried it in a number of other um, USB-C things. Obviously you can plug it into a USB-A as well, that's very useful. This is the Google um, DAC. Um, it is significantly better than this. This is 11 quid or 9 or 10 or 11 pounds, I can't remember now. This is 39 pounds. And you're getting a huge leap in quality and power. When you're using the included app, there's another reason you use the app. It improves the sound quality that reaches this. It can make sure that Android doesn't use its lower bit rates. It puts the full bit rate possible into this as well. It also means that you get a lower floor noise as well. So it is a very, very clever piece of equipment. And I'd heard a lot about this. Um, I didn't believe it could be that good. But when I realized how good it was, I thought, right, well, I've got a few pairs of wired headphones and I've got a few more of these. And I know everyone else has bought them, has been very pleased as well. This is Gavin from Gavin's Gadgets. Not much more to say about it. Um, in terms of, you know, you get more bass, more treble. Um, it is a warmer sound stage. Just one thing very quickly, this does get quite warm, but it doesn't mean you can't hold it, but it does get warm. That is nothing wrong with that. It does tell you on the box, it does get warm. It's doing a lot of good stuff. Anyway, this is Gavin from Gavin's Gadgets. Any questions, you know what to do. Catch you guys later. Bye for now.